demonstrating the procedure for the slide catalyst test. The catalyst test is used to identify bacteria that produce the enzyme catalyst. The experiment should be conducted aseptically within the sterile zone and as you can see I have the burner going and I will be conducting the experiment within the sterile zone around the burner. Also lab PPE is required while conducting the experiment. Basically, you should be wearing your gloves, safety goggles, and the lab coat while conducting the experiment. So for the experiment, we have two bacterial cultures that we will be testing, Staphylococcus epidermidis on TSA plate and Lactococcus lactis on TSA plate. We will use the reagent 3% hydrogen peroxide and we'll use this clean glass slide to do the test on. Okay. So first of all, sterilize your inoculating loop let it cool down, then aseptically transfer the bacterial culture onto the clean glass slide. Here I'm starting with Lactococcus lactis. Take the bacterial culture, uh, you need a vis visible amount. So transfer a visible amount of the culture onto the glass slide. I have labeled the glass slide with the names of the bacteria on two sides. So I have Lactococcus lactis here. Transfer the visible amount of bacterial growth onto the slide. Then sterilize the inoculating loop, put it away, and add a drop of hydrogen peroxide onto the bacterial growth. Immediately, look for formation of bubbles. If no bubbles are formed, then that indicates a negative result. So here, uh, we do not see any bubbles being formed um, out on addition of hydrogen peroxide, uh, which indicates that the test is negative, hence the bacteria do not produce catalase enzyme. Next, we will do the same procedure on Staphylococcus epidermidis. Sterilize the inoculating loop, let it cool down, then transfer a visible amount of the bacterial culture onto the glass slide. All right. Sterilize the inoculating loop and put it away safely. Then add a drop of hydrogen peroxide onto the bacterial mass. Immediately, Look for formation of bubbles. I can see bubbles being formed. Um, I think you can see from there, but in case you're not seeing from too far, I'll bring it close to the camera, and you can see the bubbles being formed, right? The formation of bubbles on this sample and no bubbles on this sample. So this is Staphylococcus epidermidis on addition of hydrogen peroxide. This is Lactococcus lactis on addition of hydrogen peroxide. Bubbles are formed when you add hydrogen peroxide onto Staphylococcus epidermidis, and this means that the bacteria produce the enzyme catalase. When the bacteria produce the enzyme catalase, they will break down hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen bubbles, and the bubbles of oxygen um, you know, is the visible result that you're seeing here. So the bubbles indicate that oxygen is being produced by breaking down hydrogen peroxide by the help of enzyme catalase. Next, dispose the slide safely into the bleach discard and disinfect your work area.